We are specifically working with the population of adults that are detained at the Port Isabel Detention Center. Those are the mothers and the fathers that have been separated from their children. And as of this morning, um, we had already um, spoken with about 150 parents. Well, I think what's being said about Port Isabel, at least since yesterday, is that it will be this you know, hunky-dory, fabulous place where families will be reunited. And that's not the case. Port Isabel is a prison, and it absolutely has no infrastructure to hold children, none at all. What I can tell you anecdotally from interviews with the parents is that they are being offered the choice um, to drop their asylum claims and accept deportation. And then once they've accepted deportation, they'll get their children back. The reasons why um, people left their country um, it's not something that they take with a grain of salt when they pick up and leave everything behind. And even more so when they make that difficult choice to make that trek um, with their child. So you'll have to forgive me for not having as much emotion anymore because I have heard so many stories of harrowing tales of rape, of murder, of political violence, of uh, you know extortion kidnappings, um, things that I just roll off my tongue telling you all those things and, and behind each one of those um, is, 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 a, is a, a you know, number of stories that, that are filled with gruesome details.